So Google suspended your ad account while promoting an affiliate offer or maybe a ClickBank offer. The first very important thing which you have to understand is Google ads never allow affiliate marketing or affiliate marketers to promote any affiliate products. But if you do your research, you will find that a lot, lot of people are using Google ads to uh, promote their affiliate offers. They are very much profitable. I am profitable too. But when you try to promote, you got this message like your account is suspended. Okay. Or you may be going to get the email from them that you have circumventing their system. And that's why they sus suspended their your ad account. So now the number one thing which you're going to learn in this uh, video is understanding the two audience who are these two audience google ad policies for affiliate marketing you should know all those policies which a marketers affiliate marketers or online marketers can violate right general policies and then can we create an another google ad account i'm going to show you some of few of the things right which will guide you for that also and then at the end four major step to prevent your ad suspension so if you're first time here, my name is Raj. Welcome to my channel Affiliate Conversion. I am generally uploading videos on Monday and Thursday. But meanwhile, because of my health issues, I am uploading only one video every Thursday. Also watch a few of the playlists. If you're using free traffic, I have a free traffic playlist. If you're looking for my uh, earning proof and all, I have a, again a right small playlist over here. Okay, so subscribe, smash the like button guys. And also put the bell notification because I'm very active in the community tab. Okay, I'm uploading a lot of small information which will be very important for you which will help you to do affiliate marketing on a right way so with that said guys let's do this one so guys very very important thing the moment your account got suspended right first important thing which you have to do right away right now is do not try to create your second google ad account okay do not try to create your second Google ad account because if you're going to create your second account or third account, Google will shut down your account. There is a reason for that. Let's understand first, right? This two audience, right? You always heard that you have an audience. Understand the interest and behavior of your buyer audience. Okay. But today I want to introduce you one more audience. What I'm going to share you here, guys, focus this. This will help you for your free traffic, paid traffic, whatever you're using. This is the reason your free traffic Instagram Pinterest is not growing or maybe this is the reason right Facebook or Google account is shutting down your uh, account okay so you have a two audience here so let's in, uh, let me introduce you the way of seeing marketing this is how I teach myself I'm sh sharing to you okay so the number one you have the audience number one is your Google ad Facebook ad, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, website, whatever you're using, guys. What are the platforms you're using, right? Consider those platform as your number one audience. And that's how you reach to your second audience, okay? This is your buyer audience, right? Their interests, their behavior, their needs, their pains are very, very important for you, right, guys? If you're losing your Google ad account, guys, the reason is you try to promote the product to this audience so that you can make some sales bypassing your audience number one like circumvent the policies right google ad policies or facebook ad uh, policies or maybe you're using a free traffic method like instagram your instagram is not growing okay or not making sales or not building the trust the reason is guys you're focusing more on your audience number two okay your audience number one is very very important guys remember one thing as an affiliate marketer guys you don't uh, own this platform you don't own your uh, the product you don't actually own anything so what you have to do with the audience number one and audience number two you have to comply with them okay you have to comply with the google ad policies facebook ad policies or maybe you're using instagram right or i would say you have to be friendly with them in a layman language and with your audience number two you have to understand their behavior these are the two very very important things guys this is a way remember this thing guys marketing is all about way of seeing things okay it's a perspective so you have to see your audience number one and you have to comply with their ad policies so that you can promote the offer and you have to know your audience their interest and their behavior so overall guys you have to do three very important things okay and that is guys selecting the right offer this is very, very important. The second very important thing is know your audience. And the number three is whenever you select like Facebook ad, Bing ad, native ads, right? Any ad, Google ad, right? You have to comply with that, these platforms. So let's understand each of this. 
number one selecting the right offer so look at this here guys this is one of the offer okinawa flat belly uh, tonic which is in a clickbank product so before you select any product guys go to their affiliate page or try to contact them with the email asking about all the doubts you have or read the promotional guidelines for example guys here they are telling like affiliates are not permitted to use any terminology in their ads landing pages that are considered non-compliant by the ftc or fda okay so what are this terminology you should know these words like weight loss belly fat okay or any kinds of claims okay you should not use all those kinds of things guys in your campaign and then guys you can read here right affiliates uh, cannot run any ppc brand campaigns they are allowing for ppc ad google ad bing ad whatever it is but they are not allowing for a brand bidding here so do not do this okay and do not use the brand so read all these things if you are uh, collecting the emails right then your email should right uh, be using can spam act okay by the federal trade commission that is an ftc and you can see whether they are allowing this product with the google ads or not if you can see they are providing more resources for facebook ad what does it mean that means guys this product convert very very well with facebook ad resources look at this they have given right avoid the term look at this that's what i was talking about right weight loss fat loss belly all this cure okay do not use this kinds of word this what against of ftc or fda go and contact them every affiliate will give you their contact email or skype ids right contact them talk to them right ask about can you promote ppc or can we do the brand bidding they will answer you back now the second very important thing is guys know your audience know your niche for example guys just type here keto right a diet now if you can see all these keywords which is suggested by google will take you to some blog some article okay and it will guide you right to learn more more you will read this guys you will know the pain point look at this uh, what to eat on keto diet how to start keto diet right if you click here you will get all these resources to guide you what is keto and what is all this red belly fat and all this thing. so more you learn about the niches and this is completely in your hand guys more you can control your campaigns okay any platforms now the third very important one is guys comply with the platform and this is the reason your you lost your google ad account okay or maybe your account is suspended right you have to comply with the platform now with my experience guys there are four major reasons you can lose your google ad account okay there are four things okay before i will take you to the policies for affiliate marketing i just want to show you the four major reasons of google ad suspension especially for affiliate marketers but before that guys you have to understand this slide which is very very important right hope you will agree with me in this slide guys google ads right this is the google ad platform or the facebook ad platform which you're using but which is not owned by you you also don't own the affiliate sales page okay or the affiliate product this is not your product okay so what you own actually you don't own anything but you own one thing guys which is called bridge page okay or this landing page so this is one of the biggest reason guys you're losing your google ad account this is one of the biggest reason why let me show you the four reasons okay the number one relevancy the quality score the campaign which you create should be very very relevant okay and for this guys you must watch right my quality score video this is the video you have to watch guys this watching this video will help you for three very very important things okay number one it will help you to rank your ad in the search engine result page okay number two it will reduce your cpc as compared to other marketer for that particular keyword number three and it will help you to save your google ad account okay and the second very important point here is guys landing page or the bridge page or maybe the sales funnel for this guys i'm going to make a, another video guys because it's a really really longer topic i'm going to show you some of my successful landing page in my next uh, video okay because this is the very major reason and guys the third very reason important reason is guys the claim and promises which you're doing in your landing page the way you create the landing page or the bridge page or the sales funnel in your other platforms right you can't create the same way with google ad how that i'm going to show you in another video and what are the reason that we're going to see in in a second okay and at the end guys you don't know google ad affiliate policies did you ever saw google have some affiliate policies 
If you go and do your research, you will find 99.99% of YouTube videos. They will say there is no affiliate policies, but they have the policies that I'm going to show you. I'm also going to give you the link in the description. Okay. So with that said, guys, let's get into the Google ad policies. So here they have guys called something called right egregious violation. So this is the one violation guys, which Google take very strictly in case if you you lost your account or Google suspend your account for egregious violation, which they have almost six violations that I'm going to show you in a second. That is 90 to 95% guys, you're not going to get uh, right your account back. You're not able to recover your account back if you violated egregious violation. But there is five to 10% guys where my fellow marketers has recovered the account that I'm going to show you the process in a second. But before that, let's understand these few violations. So here you can see these are the six egregious violation. But instead of studying from here, guys, we will go here. Okay. This is called advertise list of ad policies. Okay. This cover all of those things. Okay. I'm going to show you all these are important guys, but I'm going to show you which is close to affiliate marketers. Okay. Generally affiliate marketer lose their account because of these things. Okay. So the number one is abusing the ad network. So if you open this, here you can see this is the very very important uh, right you must spend your time i'm not going to read for you you have to spend right generally the number one is like the unfair advantage here you can see affiliate that advertise uh, on google ad against the applicable affiliate program rules okay that's what i said in the beginning guys check the offer whether they are allowing you or not unfair advantage and then guys you have the most common one that is a competitive system this is uh, very very important guys if you are losing your account that means guys you are like bypassing the uh, your first audience okay which is your google ad okay you're making fools to them and one of the biggest reason is guy clocking a lot of cpa marketer lose their google ad account because of clocking so what is a clocking guys for example if you are having a landing page uh, and that have some subject okay that have some content but whenever google bot or google spiders trying to read those content they are getting some other message okay so if your right landing page or this bridge page have some different message and google is getting or the user are getting different message but the bot is getting some different message that is called clocking which is very common in cpu marketing okay and you have to read all this right repeated policy violations okay how will you find this for this guys, for example, this is your ad network, right? So if you go to the tools place, if you go here, policy manager, click this one. So here you can see these guys, whenever you are ad any campaign, guys, if you're a beginner market marketer, you're running your first campaign. Remember this guys, every ad account, Facebook ad, Google ad, even your bank account have a history. According, they will see your history first, then only they will give you a loan in a bank. The same thing, guys, they will always review. Google is an ad platform, guys, which always review the entire site. Okay, not like a Facebook. Facebook generally review their campaign. They will approve campaign. They will review uh, when you appeal them. But Google always review your account. History makes sense, guys. Any account history. That means your first campaign is very important to whatever the campaign you're running okay so here you can see you when you get this kinds of disapprovals what you have to do guys do not try to avoid this spend time read this even if you delete they have a history they know this okay do not try to over smart with this okay remember one thing guys google never suspend your account with your first campaign okay they will allow you to do all these things they will allow you to improvise with Facebook guys, they will suspend your first campaign. But the, the best part of Facebook ad is guys, you can appeal them, they will open your account, right? So this is what you must read, right? You must read all those things. And then you have at the end guys, webmaster guidelines. And here is the only place guys, you will read affiliate program or affiliate policies. Okay, you will not going to get any policies over here for affiliate marketers, right? They are very, very important, but you're not going to see any specific right policies for that you have to go to google webmaster that i'm going to go show you in a second but before that these are very important after abusing the ad network guys another one is destination requirement okay this is very very important guys right destination requirements okay destination experience you might must 
spend the time like insufficient original content if your landing page doesn't have a original content okay so hope now you will understand that your landing page the bridge page plays a big role there Dest destination mismatch what is this guys for example right using the display url is www.google.com but le leading to a landing page with the url of www.youtube.com they have given the example they have explained you everything destination not working right destination not crawlable this is again okay this is not your mistake especially we especially if you're getting into this okay crawl level the, here what happening is guys if your affiliate vendor uh, don't have a good sales page if google is not able to read right they will shut down right your ad account okay all those things unacceptable url okay all these things are very very important here you must get into here okay and then after destination requ uh, requirement guys you have another one and that is mispresentation presentation if you get into mispresentation look at this unacceptable business practice read this very important right and you also have misleading presentation dishonest practice and remember clickbait okay this is very very important like look at this click here to find out okay something like you have to give value in your landing page in your bridge page that is the very very important that is why i'm not covering landing page bridge page in this video for that i'm going to make another video okay you should not keep it like secret okay that is more very very important thing which they have given look at this you won't believe what happened generally guys if you are running manifestation offer you have to be very much aware of it okay because they use these kinds of words like manifest within a 24 hours okay all these things are very very dangerous you have to be very good in copywriting this is why guys you should be very very good in copywriting that i'm going to cover right misleading ad design all those things okay unclear relevance these are the egregious policies guys where 90 to 95 percent you're not going to get your account back okay but there are two more which is very very important and that is guys suspicious payment activity now what is this one guys if you always change your payment active right payment methods for example some sometime you use debit card sometime you use credit card you change to paytm right and you change keep on changing the payment methods and credit card and all those things sometimes there is no sufficient balance do not make a frequent change do not try to change keep it balanced postpaid or prepaid keep it sufficient balance in this case guys there is a 50 percent chances if you talk to them you will get your account back another one is guys temporary suspension due to unauthorized account access right for example guys if you're traveling okay sometime you're opening from browsing center sometime you're opening from ccd you're keep on changing the ip address okay this is also some time right trigger your account but here also guys you will get your account back okay 50 percent chances you're going to get your account back more chances actually in this too but do not do this thing and now let's get into the affiliate program policies right affiliate policies for affiliate marketers so if you come here right abusing the ad network you can also go from here right the first one itself okay abusing the ad network go down here you will get this one called webmaster guideline open this one over here right this is very very important this is the only place guys they are talking about affiliate mass affiliate marketers or right affiliate programs okay so now this is complete guideline for everyone blogger website whatever the fuck you're doing with google using google they have a complete guideline for you so now here you have a four thing which you have to keep in mind okay the number one again if you uh, scroll down look at this clocking again i just uh, just now i explain you what is mean by clocking i i will recommend you to watch this video and read more okay they will explain you what is clocking if you are doing cpa marketing okay and then sneaking redirects right again clocking is the reason search engine shows one type of the content but user are get, getting different kind of a content okay this is reason desktop user receive a normal page while mobile user are redirected to a completely different spam domain okay this is also very very important all that is the reason your landing page should be always provide values as well as it should be responsive okay and then guys after this now here comes our policies participating in affiliate program without adding sufficient value now this is the reason guys hope you can understand right what uh, why i said that landing page is one of the biggest reason okay that's why i have I've shared you in the beginning itself okay the four reason now guys this is the page i will urge you to read and invest time i will leave the link in the description especially this page as well as 
the list of this page okay both in the description so that you spend a little bit time reading affiliate program this will help you a lot guys right remember this especially they use this word called thin affiliates website do not provide additional value for web user overall guys they want in your bridge page in your sales page you are providing additional value you have to reveal them what the user is going to get in the destination url or that means the sales page okay but in the form of copywriting okay not everything if you reveal everything in a bridge page nobody will go to your sales page but that is the place where you use the copywriting skill okay wonderful question if you are a true affiliate marketer guys they're asking ask yourself why a user would want to visit your site first that means your landing page or bridge page first rather than visiting the original merchant directly okay and all these things when selecting an affiliate program choose a product category all those things use your website a build community they also want guys you're using a website kind of a model not a single page model okay and your website should be present your website should have a facebook page instagram right like a pinterest all those all those i'm going to cover in the next video guys don't worry about this but this is i want that you're spending time because that is the reason guys i shared you this slide you don't right control google ads you also don't control affiliate sales page you only control your right bridge page and relevancy the quality score is the key landing page bridge page is very very important you should provide value on that right and do not promise make any promises and google ad affiliate policy that is the reason guys this is the a reason you're losing most of your account okay so i'm going to leave the link in the description guys so that you can spend your own time and reading this and apart from this guys this have one more and that is guys irrelevant keywords uh, promoting a manifestation uh, product but you're using fat loss okay as a keyword and keyword stuffing okay not do keyword everything i covered in the quality score video guys which i recommended you go and watch all those things so as i said guys in egregious violation right which i showed you they will that is 90 to 95 percent you will not going to recover your account but that is five to ten percent and few of my fellow marketers have experienced some good all right they recovered the account back so what you have to do here is guys first you have to do go to the google ad account and then you have to find out why google has suspended your account okay what are the violations you have did this is the first step guys right do not try to create another ad account okay google ad account first find out what went wrong okay go to each of this okay view ads and see right if you click in this they will show you ads right what went wrong why they disapproval okay read the policies and understand once if you're very clear with that right doing your research and then guys here you can see this notification if your account is suspended suspended you will see one more notification that will show like your account is suspended one button will be there that is called contact us if you click that it will take you to this page okay account suspended due to the violation this is the where you're going to reach out to them okay and asking them all right uh, explaining your everything here okay so fill all these details and now here comes the most important one okay summary of this issue now this is the place guys you have to explain them right what went wrong so guys the first mail let's say your ad account is suspended right and you're contacting them right request them here nicely right and be humble with them write a good right there is no particular script you have to write your own way write them and request them what went wrong remember this is the first email you're writing to them because guys more than you they care their user right first you accept that yes uh, i have brought a wrong thing okay and i'm very sorry just write a good right summary over here explaining what went wrong and all then what they're going to do is guys they will go and do, uh, they will do the research they will see the history of your account so you will get an email stating that they will ne they will not going to open your account anymore okay you will get that kind of mail that's the first mail now once if you got your first mail guys leave three to four five days okay again now in this three to four five days guys you have to do the research about everything okay find out which campaign what went wrong and all those things this time again approach them back by clicking the same button or maybe from the email again you will get that option okay and again this time guide write the summary stating which campaign has did the damage which campaign has you used explain them what went wrong you know what they want to know they want to know that right now you know which policies you have violated 
okay explain them everything these are the campaign i used these are the policies which i violated explain them everything here by accepting and showing them these are the thing which i violated and this way we got five or ten times ten percent a few of my fellow marketers have got their account back right the way you write here that will help you to open your ad account back so now at the end the question is can we create a another google ad account so the answer is guys which they already given over here and that is can a suspended advertiser set up or use the other account the answer is account related to the suspended account related to the suspended account for example account using the same email payment method or link to the same business a manager account will be suspended in addition in any new account that advertiser try to create we will suspend so guys if you use the same email or write uh, the payment methods phone number or like the especially the url especially the domain which you already used in the old account there is a right 100% chance that they will suspend that also so hope now you got it what you have to do so at the end guys you have to do the four major step to prevent ad suspension always create a relevant ad right increase your quality score by watching the video which i recommended which will help you to rank your ad decrease your cpc right as well as help you to create a relevant ad you will be get rid of banning okay and create a landing page provide values to the landing page that i'm going to make a uh, right another video on this right and do not do a claim and promises and spend time on ad policies which i've shared you okay all of those this will help you to run uh, a google accounts google ad account without getting suspended and you can also promote an affiliate offer by providing the values they are not against of affiliate marketers they are against of the strategy which they use where they are not providing values to the user so hope you got value from my video so smash the like button guys share your valuable comments right how do you see this video and if you have any doubt let me know in the comment i reach all the comments if it is relevant okay so smash the like button guys and do not forget to share this video to your loved one right who is doing google ads right promoting an affiliate offer this video will definitely going to help them also okay smash the like button subscribe my channel put the bell notification stay safe keep smiling